Hey, I'm Randy Vance. I'm at Chatham, Massachusetts in the Cape Cod area. It's not often that a Florida boy transplanted from the Ozarks gets to fish in an area like the Cape Cod. But I came here to give me a new experience with Suzuki Outboards. It's a brand of outboard that I've become highly familiar with in my 22 years of being a boating journalist. Grew up fishing with my father, fished commercially for years and years, and then moved into the charter aspect of it. I got my 100 ton masters six years ago when I started chartering. Every boat that I've done charters on have had Suzuki's. The Suzuki's I find are super easy to maintain. The Suzuki's have never, ever, ever, ever let me down. They've never stalled, they have never not started, they've never given me a problem on the water at all. Well, Suzuki is a powerful force in the saltwater boating industry. Whether you're a charter captain or a recreational fisherman looking for reliable power, this is where Suzuki has made its mark. But the things on this motor that make it reliable for the saltwater guys are the very things that make it reliable and desirable for the freshwater guys. One of the things that they're known for is exact engineering, precise manufacturing, high performance, and great reliability. All right, Albie, show yourselves. And we'll do a couple loops here, and then we'll sneak out the other side. One of the first things that you want to take note of in a Suzuki outboard is the extra effort they go to in corrosion protection. If you look at the reputation they have among saltwater anglers, you know they have that right. Another area that they're extremely powerful in is repower, and that's very important. To do that and gain that trust among the commercial fishermen, you have to have a motor that's got a great power to weight ratio. It's also got to be well balanced on the transom to keep your center of gravity in the proper place. Now one of the things that Suzuki has done to achieve that is they use an offset drive shaft with an oil bathed sprocket and chain drive system. That keeps the motor further forward on the transom and moves your center of gravity forward as well. Now in the saltwater environment an awful lot of boaters are running two motors and one of them needs to be counter rotating. When it comes time to repower, when you want that extra bit of reliability or a little more horsepower, moving that counter-rotating motor can be a bit of a problem because usually you're selling those in singles. But Suzuki, on their 200 lineup and their 300, they have a counter-rotation module in the motor that switches any motor from right-hand turning to left-hand turning. So for the dealer, he's stocking just one motor and Suzuki is making it left or right based on a little plug-in module. When the consumer wants to sell those motors, he can easily turn that left-hand rotating motor back into a right-hand motor. The motor today has super smooth digital controls in the throttle and shift. You have that option on the 150s through the 350s, but on the 150 through the 225, you also have the option of choosing mechanical controls. Come on, fishies. The Albies, love them. That is an Albie. Now we've talked a lot about precision engineering, performance, corrosion protection, and selective rotation. One thing Suzuki likes to say is, there's no replacement for displacement. That means that their outboards are built with an engine block powerful enough beefy enough to generate horsepower and torque that you need to move a heavy saltwater boat. They've got variable valve timing so you've got exactly the right amount of fuel and air at the lower speeds and then it steps it up as you progress to your planing speeds and gives you even more power. Suzuki is engineered in what they call lean burn control which gives you the optimum fuel air mixture to give you the optimum in fuel economy. Let's take a look at another saltwater application. What if you're running a flats boat or even a skinny water skiff? Suzuki has dual pickups 
for water on the lower unit of their motor. One is very low and one is further up. So when you're running in the shallowest water or the deepest, you're still getting adequate water to keep your motor cool. If you're running just a medium-sized saltwater boat, you're running two GPS displays, two sonar black boxes, radar possibly, VHF radio, and you're running a mega stereo system with a subwoofer and an amplifier. What else are you running? Here they come. Running at least one live well pump all day long, probably two if not three, raw and fresh water pumps. And if you got six passengers on board, you're probably charging six cell phones all day long. How do you do that? You've got to have a very robust battery system and to keep that charged, you've got to have a very robust alternator. That's what Suzuki has done, is upgraded their alternator system to power those batteries and stay cool while they're doing it. The oil changes are a snap, especially the odd hours. Winterization, you buy the service kit, everything is accessible. You pull the cowling off, you don't even have to pull the plastics off. Fuel economy on this is phenomenal. I average 2.4 miles per gallon, full tank, four to five people on it. Now Suzuki offers a five-year warranty on their motors, and they're the only company that's doing that today. It's no wonder they're such a logical choice for saltwater fishermen charter captains, and if you're looking to power a pontoon boat or a recreational boat inland, you should put Suzuki on your shopping list as well. I'm Randy Vance.